Hello, my name's Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV7. You're watching a show called Conversations with Fred. Each week I have some very interesting men and women come on the show and tell us about what's going on in Queen Anne's County, what's happening in the future, and fill you in on things you need to know as a citizen of Queen Anne's County. Today I'm lucky I have a good friend, Jay Falstead. Jay, thank you for coming on a uh, busy day. All your days are busy, right? Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Start off, who's Jay Falstead? What is this Queen Anne's County Conservation Group all about? Sure. Well, um, thank you for having me. It's thank a pleasure to be here. Uh, Queen Anne's Conservation Association got its start uh, back in the mid-60s as a loosely formed organization um, when there was a proposal to put a nuclear power plant in, in Queen, Queen Anne's, Anne's County, County. Yes. Um, right over by Pioneer Point. Right. And um, a lot of the citizens in the area uh, banded together. There were obvious concerns about that particular project and, and what it might um, bring to the region. And so um, there were other nuclear projects in the region, uh, Three Mile Island and That was in the Limerick. part where the whole world was looking as an alternative. Yeah, it was. Nuclear, yeah. Yeah. And so um, there were obvious concerns about what the impacts might be, both um, to the environment and to the Chester River. Um, and then on the other side, there were business interests that thought that it would be a good economic driver. Sure. In any case, um, by the late 60s, Queen Anne's Conservation Association became an incorporated um, entity and um, we just celebrated our 50th year well, just a few years ago. Um, but we pride ourselves on uh, being uh, an advocate for the environment and for the community. Um, we are a conservation and environmental organization, as our name suggests. And so we try and um, educate the public on things that are important to, to the, the community and the that, community. that impact our region. Um, we advocate when necessary. We um, are pretty active with our county commissioners and um, also active at the state level uh, when necessary. And, um, and you can find a lot of our information on our website. But yeah, we're there to help. I mean, overall, we're yeah. a watchdog um, just to make sure that um, our government does things that they're supposed to, um, that they go by the rules, that they go by the rules, the follow laws. the law, right. uh, and that there are also private interests out there that sometimes um, take advantage of, of circumstances. And, and so there are pollution uh, issues, land use issues that we get involved in from time to time. But we're basically there to be on the, uh, on the side of the citizen. The reality is developers, um, any financial interest that comes in, they are, they are driving their um, <laughs> their agenda. They want to make money and there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Nothing but, wrong with yeah, it. Yeah. Um, we just want to make sure that there's no unintended consequences uh, later down the line. And as I say, we are a conservation organization, so... Um, Your issue is conservation. There's nothing wrong with that. As right? the Lorax says, we speak for the trees sometimes. What do you see as issues now? What is the conservation group talking about and educating about now? Well, right now, the the one of the major issues that's on the horizon is the Bay Bridge. Okay. And, um, and everybody's talking about it. And there are obvious two sides. Uh, we recognize that there are challenges at the Bay Bridge. And I think anybody that lives on Kent Island... Um, you know it's a challenge. It's a challenge. <laughs> we, we see it. Um, our main thing is, um, because we are an advocate for the environment, and because we do pride ourselves on making sure that the government tries to follow its... its uh, policies and process, that they do it in the right way. Okay. And so most recently the state advanced um, their Tier 1 uh, National Environmental Policy Act uh, review, it's supposed to be an environmental review on the Bay Bridge, and in our view that was a failure. And so, so the conservation group, is, we didn't, you didn't like that? Not just Queen Anne's Conservation Association, but numerous groups numerous around groups the state uh, okay. thought that it was that the state failed, and so what we've done is we've highlighted that, um, and we've it's on our website. Um, it, it's available for everyone to see, okay. and we encourage people what to look at it. What did you like, and what would you like to see, Jay? I mean, is a conservation group come out and s give me some specifics? Is there something you, you didn't like the third bridge idea or what? Well, right now our position is is that there should not be a third span okay. built. Okay. Um, right now because we don't believe that the state has really done the necessary background work okay. um, to justify that they need a bridge. And that there are, 
there are other things that they can do right now to alleviate some of the traffic problems. Any suggestions from the Con Queen Anne's County Conservation folks? Sure. I mean, yeah. there's all kinds of things. Uh, there's things like index tolling, which needs okay. to be taken into so what's account. Index tolling? Oh, yeah. So they use this in Virginia. What they will do is they'll adjust the rates, uh, the tolling rates, um, so that during peak hours, maybe the rates are much higher. Okay. Um, Late at night, maybe they're much lower, and then that helps people and distribute their time. Yep. Out when they travel. Okay. And there's there's been some successful stories behind that. Um, in our report, and also uh, the the state has acknowledged that there's some managed uh, lane um, things that they can do, um, and so. Oh, and then there's uh, some issues down at Ocean City. Hopefully some of the rental agreements can be adjusted so that it's not everybody running time. down yeah. on Saturday to Saturday. Okay. Um, they can be spread out. In the end, we just believe that there are some other things that can be some done alternatives. before alternatives. billions of dollars are spent on a bridge, which may not be needed right now. And then coming back to the, the NEPA review itself, sure. um, the state really failed in our view because this is supposed to be an environmental review. Yet, if you look at their document, it really has nothing to do with the environment it's at just all. It's, it's traffic just a, and transportation. Yeah, it's a it? failed traffic study is really what it is. And so what we're suggesting is they really do need to go back to the drawing board. And redo it. They need to start from square one and redo, actually do an environmental assessment on what the impacts to the Chester River are going to be, um, impacts to the, the Chesapeake Bay and so on. And they failed to do that. And they do not have the luxury of just saying, we're going to pick this up in the phase two part, uh, in the tier two part. They really do have to go back and do it in, Would the, in the tier Queen one. Anne's County Conservation Group, are you in favor, and if I'm being too specific, let me know, another bridge, say, in Kent County or down in Southern Maryland, or you're not going there yet? Our position is we don't think a new crossing is needed at all. We don't need um, it. Just do some traffic thing. Yeah. And the main reason, Fred, behind that is... Um, there is not an infrastructure project anywhere in America where if you have a big expansion of a highway, it doesn't ultimately lead to a lot of growth and development oh. that comes in behind it. And Queen Anne's County is a rural county. I think most people um, in the county that I know of, including the commissioners themselves, want to maintain that rural character. What we have here is something special. And it's easy to develop. It would be very easy to turn Queen Anne's County into an Anne Arundel County sure. type. Sure. Uh, county. I think we can do better. Well, good. The Bay Bridge is a hot topic. Everyone who comes on the show, I want you to know, talks about the Bay Bridge, whether elected officials or public officials. Well, we recognize the challenge. I mean, um, if you're stuck in traffic there, oh, it's terrible. we get it. Yeah. But rather than just throw a whole lot of money at a new bridge, we just think that the state, working in conjunctions with both Queen Anne's and Anne Arundel County and other counties on the shore, um, I think if smart people come together and really work on this in a deliberate way, that we can find some solutions that will help alleviate some of those traffic we can plan jams. Better, and it is a mess right now. It is a mess. Nobody's denying that. Um, now, now, Jay, let me, let me just keep going. Before I get, I know you want to talk about the comp plan. You and I have talked about this. How about the other end of the county? See, I think the hidden sneak attack on Queen Anne's County is going to be up at your end of the county. What's happening in Middletown, Delaware? What the state of Delaware, I've already seen videos of what they're talking about. You want to address that at all or not? Sure. I mean, right. 301 coming from Middletown is certainly a concern. Um, I remember uh, long ago, um, you could go down 301 and you'd barely encounter any, no uh, any other cars. No. Um, no. Now it's... It's a racetrack. It, it is a racetrack. It's 95 it's, alternative, right? It's, yeah. it's getting worse. Yeah. And what's happening is... Um, people who would ordinarily take I-95 going south are finding that they can save themselves some money by coming over onto 301 sure, and then sure. getting down to D.C. that way. Um, it's a problem. That, too, is something that the state's going to have to address. Right. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on it. I know the county commissioners are, are keeping a close eye on it as well. And so, um, but it's definitely a threat. Jay, before we go, you know, and that's a good idea. I just, you know, I, I sit here. We've got the Bay Bridge. We've discussed that. That's a given. I just bet the next 10, 15 years, you're into the counties where there's going to be some interesting growth because, you know, when the real money comes into Queen Anne's County, right, and they see a lot of land, hold on Nelly, right? We're in trouble, right? Yeah, well, but that's one of the things that we advocate for. Okay. Um, from the very beginning, 
Uh, Queen Anne's conservation has always been in favor of agriculture and preserving um, th the county's agricultural heritage as much as we can. Sure. Um, right now, what's unique about our region is Queen Anne's County is the most productive agri agricultural county in Maryland and really in the whole entire region. Um, according to an agronomist uh, who worked at USDA, the soil quality in this area is second only to those soils in Iowa. Yeah, we got a special gift. Yeah, yeah. and so why, why, you'd wanna, why you'd wanna pave that over with development is a mystery. And so um, in conjunction with, with those affiliated with agriculture, we wanna do whatever we can to try and help preserve farmland. Um, we've done a little bit of that already. Uh, QACA was involved in um, crafting some of the language uh, dealing with solar panels so that a percentage of those operations now goes into land preservation. I um, saw this happened the last couple on 404. Yeah. There's like a solar farm there. It goes on and on. It's brilliant, right? I mean, imagine the electricity that's able to produce. Right? Yeah, and there's another one uh, coming up near Church Hill, okay. um, which is a big one also. And so there again, those there are two sides. There are some people that wanted the solar, other adjacent landowners. There's another and others, side of the story. Yeah. yeah, they don't want it in their backyard. Uh, some of those projects we can challenge on legal grounds. Others we can't. Um, and so, yeah, it's just that's your rule. It's an that's, ongoing. That's part of the yeah. Trade. Jay, let me ask you. Do you think is there a is there a compromise? Uh, I mean, if I go to the people and say, look. Pave it over. I want shopping centers. I want housing. I want this and that. And another side says, "Ho, ho, ho! Agriculture is our number one industry. We're a very important part of the state's economy. Is there a compromise? Can there be a compromise in Queen? Does the conservation group see there can be a compromise in terms of? And I'm asking this in terms of we can have a little smart growth, but still protect our agricultural heritage. Or does the QA, does Queen Anne's County not want?" that type of growth. No, no, I mean, the, we are That's on a record. That's sure. that you're against growth. Straighten this out. Absolutely not. Okay. I'm not opposed to growth and okay. development. I am opposed to growth and development that um, ruins our environment okay. and ruins the agricultural dimension and of Queen And nobody can disagree County. with it, right? Nobody can disagree uh, with it. I hope. I, I don't know why you would, but yes, in yes. any case, um, no, uh, there are areas around Centerville um, our comprehensive plan calls for growth and development around Centerville. We're not opposed to that, as long as it's done in a, in a good and thoughtful and constructive way. Um, some of the smaller towns also have some opportunity for growth. Um, obviously, there's plenty of growth going on down on Kent Island. Right. Uh, some of that we've been opposed to. Most of it we haven't. Um, if it's so, planned well and organized and protects our environment, you have no problem. Is that a fair statement? That, is a, that is a fair statement. Okay. Um, and yeah. as long as it's consistent and compatible, well, consistent with the comprehensive plan, compatible with the surrounding community. Now, there are some projects that have slipped through the cracks that are incompatible with the surrounding sure. community. Those are ones that we try and keep our eyes on. As I say, sometimes we can challenge them. Other times we can't. Um, and that's your rule. It's okay. That's healthy. And it's as American as apple pie, right? It is. But yeah. so let me talk about okay. that just yes, for a minute, yes. because there are some people in the community who are afraid to exercise that right. Yes. And so um, rather than call the county or call the state, uh, what they do is oftentimes, at least in terms of environmental concerns, they'll contact Queen Anne's Conservation Association, okay. and then we will relay those concerns to, other to the state or to the county. Okay. And so we are here for the for the citizens um as i say our main goal is to try and educate and advocate and and we'll challenge projects when they need to be need challenged. To challenge make sure before we get to the comprehensive plan how do they contact you? if there's someone's watching this now and says you know what i'm concerned about a development in my backyard how do how do you want to contact sure you? they can first go to the website the website is www.qaca.org okay do it one more time www.qaca.org okay. uh, there's a lot of information on there um, there's a link to my email which is jay.falstead at qaca.org. Um, you can reach me by email. Uh, you want to be contacted with questions about whatever. I do it every day. Good. Yeah, I mean, I, I take- And that's your job. I take calls from citizens around the county every day. Yeah. There are always people that have concerns about um, something that they may have seen, an environmental impact uh, concern that they might have. 
Um, I do it every day. What we have in Queen Anne's County, in my view, is so unique. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you look at all of the farmland that we have here, when you look at the small towns that we have here, um, that's being lost in other areas around the country. Um, I remember not so long ago when Middletown was about the size of Church Hill. Oh, when we first moved here 40 years ago, there was yeah, nothing in it was, Middletown. Middletown was just a little crossroads yeah. community, yeah. and just look at it now. Oh. That could easily happen here. We're and right so, down 301, right? Yeah. All of these small towns that all of us profess to love and it gets into the school system. We've got a great school system sure. here. Um, if you bring in tons of growth and development, it can overwhelm a school system. It'll turn it into something that it's not. Sheriff's department. Everything. everything yeah. It just, it, it gets too big to yeah, manage. We can't, and so I guess we really kind of have to ask ourselves, do we want to lose what we have here? Or is it worth fighting for? Sure. I believe it's worth fighting for. That's why I do what I do. Good. And, um, and I make no make apologies it. for it. Now, you wanted to talk about the comprehensive plan. Go ahead. A lot of so people don't even know what it is. Well, tell them what it is. Yeah, so a lot of people, come, what was he, what's he talking about? It's a perfect segue into okay. everything that we were just talking about. Sure. Every 10 years, the county has to, under law, go through a comprehensive plan review. And what that means is that it takes a look at our growth in the county, where we are right now, where we want to be. Um, should we make any adjustments to um, our growth, the ideas that we have about growth? Mm -hmm. And so right now we're in the thick of the comprehensive plan review. Um, I encourage every citizen to be following this. Um, go to the county website. Um, I think there's a link on uh, the county's website that takes you directly to the comprehensive plan. Um, get involved, follow it. Uh, most of the topic discussions are, um, those have been completed. Um, but the real interesting part of a comprehensive plan will start occurring this summer and going into the fall. Okay. And I encourage everybody to, uh, now, to what, be following now, it. And, and that is, the citizens get input on it? Or what do, you, what, would you, what do you encourage a guy like Fred to do? Should I get a copy of it and page by page? No, you don't have to. I mean, you can. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want to discourage anybody from reading the comprehensive plan. But um, for example, if you live in Church Hill, um, each of the towns have their own. We'll have a section. Have their own uh, town plans. Okay, right. um, areas on Kent Island have their own community plans. Like okay. there's a Chester Stevensville plan. Um, and so all of these plans, which I think most of them, of, of them are online, you can review and see if there are things on there that you agree or disagree okay. with okay. and just get involved. Um, I can't overstate that enough. It affects that your schools, it affects your safety, it affects your The whole entire community, right? yeah, okay. your, the whole community. And since we are a community, I urge everyone to be a part of it. Um, and go to the county website is what you Go to the county okay. website, it's all right there uh, in living color. The county's okay. done a great job uh, to their credit. They've done an excellent job in laying everything out so that it's easy to read. Um, there are some, I think, weekly questions that you can answer that are just kind of interesting, but be informed. Are there public meetings on the comprehensive plan, Jay? Do they have, like they do with the budget, do they have the equivalent for the comp or not? Yes, so they had those broken down mostly into different topics, okay. and most of that is over with right now. Um, but where it will be important for citizens to watch is what happens at the Planning Commission. And okay. so the Planning Commission has a meeting every month. Um, that's also on the, the agendas are posted on the county website. And um, as I say, I urge citizens to- Get involved, pay attention. Get involved, it's, it's their community. Right. And you don't want it hijacked um, by financial interests who have their own ideas. Do you and your organization, are there red flags you've seen the comp plan as, as ideas to come in yet or not? Or is it um, too early? No, it's probably a little too early to okay. answer that question. Okay. Um, okay. Right now, what this is going to be is um, an update from the existing comprehensive okay. plan. So it's not as though this is a wholesale um, rewrite. Just like the next chapter. Yeah, the this is just, years. let's update it. Okay. Um, because things have changed a little bit from 10 years ago. Um, and so our schools are, are at or near capacity. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to factor in how much more growth and development is acceptable, what types of growth and development are acceptable, um, where it should go. Um, and so 
those things are all carefully mm -hmm. reviewed and analyzed mm -hmm. by people on the planning commission, uh, county staff at the planning department, um, all of whom are doing a great job. And, um, and so my role with QACA is just, we kind of watch over you watch a lot what's of that going and, on. and try and inform the community if, if there are red flags that come up. Is it a, Jay, is it a real working document or is it just a document that's put on a shelf somewhere? I mean, if people no, follow it. It, 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 has, it has legal imprint on it. Like? It okay. absolutely does. Okay. There have been times in the past where um, the county has, county commissioners of the past had attempted to maybe go in a different direction on what the, the comprehensive plan said. Um, they were challenged by us or challenged by citizens. So it has the force of law. Okay. And, um, so it's a real working document. I mean, they follow it. Yeah. It's and not something put on a shelf in the library that every 10 years they drag out. Hey, here's our plan for Churchill. Here's our plan for yada, yada, yada. And our, our county planning department is doing a much better job than they used to okay. in making sure that um, the comprehensive plan is followed. So, yeah. Pay it's, attention, right? Out there. Pay and attention. Go, definitely. And go pay to attention. the county government website and you can get to this document, right? Yes. Okay. Jay, look at it. We've got about four more minutes left. Tell me, if you had a magic wand, I mean, obviously you and your organization want to maintain this agricultural type environment we have. Pick two or three things you'd like to see in the next 10 years take place in Queen Anne's County. I, besides, the growth is always the issue. Right? That's a hot one. Every election. But any other issues you see? Yeah, so if yeah. I had a magic wand, and keep in mind, I am an environmentalist sure, and, sure. and I care about conservation. So if I had a magic wand, and um, what I would want to see is all of Queen Anne's County's remaining farmland preserved okay. Okay. and protected from development. Now, you just made Trip Callahan happy. He's applauding out in Roosburg right now. I hope so. But <laughs> now I recognize that um, the state has to play an important role in making sure that there is a financial incentive for those farmers to want to protect their land. Okay. And so it's, it's not simply a matter of a farmland owner saying, sure, I'll protect it. Yeah. Um, they have to be compensated for it in some way, shape, or form. So the state has a role and the county has a role in, in achieving that goal. Um, the second thing is, given um, the way climate is changing right now, it's changing rapidly, sure. we have to do a much, much better job in protecting the remaining forest areas that we have. Um, fortunately, Queen Anne's County, um, to the extent there's any timber harvest, is mostly done on a select basis and not okay. a clear cutting it's a, basis. It's not a big, yeah. Th though there was that issue down in Queenstown a couple of years ago where they, well, they along the cleared highway there, every, yes. yeah, they cleared every ugly. single tree. Was it was ugly. terrible. Ugly. Um, we have to do a much better job on that because a forest has the capacity to do way more than what we think it does. Oh, yeah. um, it's not just a home for animals, but it helps absorb water. It minimizes um, flooding. And so um, in this era of climate change, we've got to do a much, much better job. Okay. I've just read in today's New York Times, city of Miami is talking about a major project of a seawall, much like they have in some European countries, to protect their beaches, which are disappearing. I mean, it seems like that should be a... It is I'm a very Canada big Island. item. Yeah. It is a very big item. Anne Arundel County right now is making some uh, major plans on how to adjust... Um, for sea level rise affecting the Naval Academy and so on. Queen Anne's County has to do the same thing. Uh, Ken Island in particular, oh. it's an island. A number of islands uh, throughout the Chesapeake history have I'm disappeared gone. over gone. the last hundred years. Yes. Uh, Ken Island is not a geographical oddity that's going to escape that fate. Mm -hmm. And so um, we do have to plan for it. Uh, residents there have to acknowledge that it's, it's going to happen. Issue. And, it's an issue. Yeah, and that they too are going to have to plan for it. So. Jay, our time's right. You were worried about that we wouldn't, have an, we wouldn't know what to talk about for 30 minutes. We're going to have to have you back with a couple more sessions. We, I mean, environmental issues, whether it doesn't matter what side the fence you're on, we have to address them. And you and your organization are d doing a great job. Now, one more time. Would you please remind people if they have questions, you've stimulated, hey, I want to ask some questions, how they contact you and your organization. So just go to the website. It's www.qaca.org. Um, my email link is on there. Feel free to call or email, and, um, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. People, can people join? Is there such a thing? Is there a membership? So we're not thing? a membership-type oh. okay. organization. Okay. Um, uh, 
for a variety of reasons. Um, you can help support the organization if you support the environment um, and support conservation. Uh, of course, we'll be happy to accept the support. Okay, all right. Uh, so, but we're not a membership organization. Okay. So you in don't the join anything, but you can contribute. Yes. And uh, can they volunteer in any way? Yeah, there oh, have been okay. volunteer opportunities. Oh, great. Um, okay. We do work with other organizations, and so um, a number so of other the organizations. So go to website, and all this will be explained. Yeah, and there there are opportunities all the time to to be involved. Okay, now Jay, so, to keep... we strongly encourage it. Oh, great. Okay, now. Your hidden secret, you and your wife doing a wonderful job. T take 30 seconds. Tell me about your, what's going on uh, with you and your wife, the soaps, the lavender fields. Just 30 seconds. What so, is your wife doing here? Thanks for the opportunity yeah. for the plug. Um, we have a small farm in northern Queen Anne's County called Calico Fields. Um, it's a lavender farm, but we also do some other stuff there mm -hmm. as well. Um, and we will be opening up uh, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So you can drive um, up starting next weekend. Okay, all uh, my friends in Ken Island around the county, you don't have to go west. Visit this man's beautiful <laughs> site. It's an, a, what a great day trip. Go ahead, I'm sorry, go ahead. Anyway, it's a small lavender farm. Uh, we're very proud of it. We put a lot of work into it. Um, now, how did you, are you on the web? Yeah. If they want to get in touch with you, what it's do they It's calicofieldslavender.com. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a website there. You can find everything. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, we don't do point. advertisements on QAC TV, but I use the soap every day, okay? Well, thanks. Jay, look at our time's about up. Will you please come back in the future? Be happy to. Thanks for the opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. I'm Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching QAC TV 7. Thank you for your time. My time's up. We're going to see you next time.